Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, uh, we will learn that how to implement a DevOps project, a real DevOps project uh, using the Jenkins, Ansible, Docker and the Kubernetes. So here I am going to I'm going to create a pipeline and for this pipeline I require these four files okay these are the docker files deployment and service uh, file and one ansible file and for this we require minimum four uh, instance or host that is four server we have required and I am implementing this uh, this whole job in in AWS and in AWS I am using T2 micro for my Jenkins server and the docker and ansible server and for the Kubernetes I am using the T2 medium as you all know uh, who are following my channel I have already shared one uh, to one one video regarding this Kubernetes how to install the Kubernetes and what are the configuration we need to we need to perform to uh, to to install the Kubernetes over the AWS EC2 okay so after that I guess uh, you all already aware about that if if anyone is not not already uh, check out that video please check that video okay I will I will share share the video link over the description box so here what I am going to do that uh, I'm, I'm, I will I will uh, push my docker file to a github repo and using that github uh, using that github repos uh, one settings that is called uh, the webhooks using that webhooks the the files will be automatically sent to the jenkins and every time whenever a developer will push or modify in that code or in a in that repo that file will be automatically pushed to the jenkins okay to the jenkins server and from jenkins server we will we will send the file okay to the ansible and the kubernetes server accordingly so here what i am going to do that i will create two replicas pod okay and that two replica pod for a website okay and uh, it will it will be automatically deployed using the kubernetes and we can we can already we can already open that uh, website through our browser for that we require we we have some prerequisites that is the git linux system jenkins docker docker hub account so you have to create your docker hub account if you don't have the account okay and then we require the ansible and the kubernetes okay here I will share the information that how to install the Jenkins and how to install the Ansible also there are, and how to install the Docker. There are a few, uh, a very few steps, easy steps we need to follow to install this uh, this software in in the servers. Okay, and for this Ansible.yml file, what will it do? Well, it will it will actually uh, deploy the pods to this kubernetes okay to the using the kubernetes controller so here i am using the kubernetes controller along with two worker nodes okay as i have already uh, already shown you in my previous videos okay the same uh, worker nodes i am going to use okay and in my previous video already i have shared the thing that how how you can uh, how you can deploy your pods and you can uh, you can use that pods 
if you if you execute your uh, web page in a port that port you can use through your browser using the public IP of your controller server okay using that uh, custom ports so for that we require this a uh, deployment uh, file and the service file which by which we can able to deploy our pods and which we can use uh, we can create our node port okay uh, the service uh, which we will we will use okay already I have uh, discussed uh, regarding this one okay and this this docker file what will it what will it do right like this docker file we will use to uh, to create the docker image okay first of all we will we will uh, use the ubuntu docker uh, image and we will install the uh, apache okay and zip unzip and the wget software in that uh, in that docker image okay and we will set the working directory uh, as a var triple w html as here i am going to deploy one website okay and i will i will use the free websites uh, css uh, css that uh, from there we you all can uh, download a free project okay for for your um, for your experiment so i will use that that one to download uh, the the html packages okay and um, i will i will uh, then i will unzip that project and uh, move that project to the default directory and will uh, will run that pod okay in foreground so this is my project i'm going to uh, i'm going to create here okay so let's uh, create this and in my next video step by step we will learn this please keep watching and if you if you think that this is going to help you okay and if this is helping you so please kind, uh, kindly uh, like the video and share with your communities and uh, please subscribe my channel thank you